Are we rolling? Yeah, we are. All right, hey, I'm Matt. This is my buddy Miguel. Yeah. And we're in Barcelona uh, with Lara, who's doing a little filming over here. She's coming over here. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, or hola. Hola. I learned that this week. Um, we're going to make an apple dessert here. Uh, we got some uh, apples at the uh, Boqueria. Mercado de la Boqueria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make some manzana. Manzana. That's manzana. Right. Apples with a little balsamico. Uh, y uh, uh, azúcar mo moreno. Azúcar moreno. Azúcar moreno. With a little brown sugar, balsamic, some fresh thyme, and chili pepper. And got a pan that's getting to start to get a little hot here. This is a great dish. It's like a lot of the desserts, postres. Mm. Postres, a lot of the desserts that we like to do, like to have a little bit of spice in them. We have some chili pepper right here. Okay, you know, some crushed red pepper. Uh, if you get the whole red peppers, you can do it in a coffee grinder. We have a little fresh thyme here that we just picked off the shelf of our apartment here in Barcelona. Fresh apples from the market, lemon, brown sugar, balsamic vinegar, and a little uh, 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 pan here that's heating up. First thing I want to do is show you how to, to cut the apple. And it's pretty simple. You just cut from the four sides around the core, taking the core out. And then what this does is it gives you a little bit of like a nice option to follow the cut when you're doing this, so that it's a nice even cut so that everything cooks. Okay, so how would you say that in Spanish? Bueno, la, cor la cortas en, en cuatro porciones eh, y luego has, te queda la, el apoyo plano para poder hacer eh, cortes que son muy simétricos, muy parecidos. Y so you have just this core left over and you can use this. I'll tell you one of the best things about having these apple cores and fruit cores left over. Uh -huh. You can start filling up a jug and top it with rum, vodka, gin, wine, whatever you want. You can make a nice like fruit liquor or wine after a while. So never throw away anything in the kitchen. It's always got to use somewhere somehow. So we have a hot pan here and I'm going to, you know, drop in my apples. Just little apples here to start like that. Pretty simple. Squeeze in some lemon. You gotta want to get a little bit of a liquid in there right now. Start to turn this. And then we're gonna follow with some brown sugar. Got brown sugar, just enough to coat the top. You know, I don't know the exact measurement of that. That'd probably be about, that would probably be about, you know, a quarter of a cup. And then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of balsamic here. A little bit of that vinegar. That'll be great. It'll give it a nice, like, molasses, fruity, like, kind of flavor going on here. And we're gonna toss it. Now a lot of the liquid from the apples is going to start to release here with the sugar and the balsamic. Put in a little bit of the crushed red pepper, that'll give it a nice bite. And the thyme, and you're basically now finished. I'm going to hit it with just a touch of water, which will evaporate, but this is going to start the cooking here. So now we're going to just saute this. And you're going to saute this down, and it'll turn into a nice like syrup, a little more brown sugar here. I'm going to add that water up, makes a simple syrup. Equal parts of sugar in any liquid water make a simple syrup, and it can be thick by adding more sugar and less water. You can use water, you can use vinegar, which makes like a sweet and sour type of thing here. And we got the balsamic, which is already sweet, so that's not going to be a big deal on this one. So basically, I've kind of overspoken a lot, so could you follow back with a little Spanish? <coughs> bueno, entonces, fundamentalmente, pones las los pedazos de manzana en el sartén colocaste eh, agua y azúcar limón perdón y azúcar moreno luego colocaste un poco de tomillo y, y pimiento rojo molido yeah. y nada lo, al, al fuego luego colocaste un poco de balsámico yeah. y un poco de agua para que se evapore yeah. y claro ahora como un caramelo there's gonna make like some type of like candy. a caramel yeah. yeah it's gonna be like a candy like balsamic okay. you can see here when you look down in here, you see it's already like those bubbles means water is evaporating, so it's thickening right here. And you can see the balsamic has coated everything. So it, right now, it's just you know, it's just going to be. We'll turn up the heat just a little bit here, get it up like that's a medium high heat. You know, I didn't want to start too high, but get it up there now that it's got some liquid in it. Get it up and so in the medium high area, and then this is going to cook for about five minutes because you still want a little bit of crunch in the apple. You don't want apple will turn to mush quick. And remember you can do this with peaches, you can do it with pears, you can do it with basically any any kind of fruit. More, you know, more of the dense fruits. Not like you can do it with pineapple and it would be great, but you cook it really slow 
you kind of want to watch. I do this syrup ahead of time. I'll make the syrup without the fruit and pour it on grapefruit and oranges or make like a grapefruit and orange salad and pour that on top. Like this liquid right here, this liquid is fantastic added into other things. When you're finished with it, even though this is going to be our dessert, you can take that liquid and drizzle it on a salad tomorrow. Uh -huh. You know, it would be fantastic, especially on like an acid salad with like grapefruit and lemon and orange and red onion and something that's got a lot of bite to it with a little bit of the sweetness would be great. And so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a spoon here. Let me grab a spoon real quick. Pork will work. Just to toss this around a little bit. You see how it's getting nice and thick down in there? Yeah. Yeah. Entonces, puedes hacerlo también con duraznos y peras, ¿no? Peaches and, and pears, is that? Yeah, you can use peaches, you can do pears. Y más o menos debes cocerlo a fuego mediano a alto por cinco minutos. Y puedes utilizar el líquido luego para una ensalada, especialmente una ensalada ácida. Yeah. Una ensalada ácida al día siguiente. But you know, the, another thing we do in one of our Italian restaurants is we make, we take white balsamic mm -hmm. and make a syrup with bay leaf and cracked pepper. Bay leaf. Uh -huh. Bay leaf. Bay leaf. Bay leaf. Okay. And cracked pepper, black pepper. Uh, mm -hmm. And... It's like a spicy, herby type of uh, syrup, and we make soda out of it. So we put a little bit of the syrup in a glass with ice and add soda water on top, so you have a white balsamic soda. Okay. So you could do it with this. I prefer white balsamic to make a soda with, but I could make lemon and jalapeno, jalapeno mm -hmm. uh, syrup and make a soda with that. So you can make soda. Soda, like Coca-Cola, is basically a syrup mixed with soda water. So whatever syrup you can make, you can take lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruits, you can make syrup out of basically anything out of your refrigerator. Anything at the market can turn into a syrup and you can turn it into a soft drink. Wow. So this is like almost done. Yeah, it smells really good. Right here, just gonna talk. I can tell it's almost done because when I can toss it without the water flying around, it means it's done and you can see how, see how it's kind of flippy yeah. right there. So that means this is done. So basically, we're going to get. I'll back. show you how to plate it right now. So here's how simple this is uh, to plate this dish. I prefer with the apples. If we have an orange plate here, but I prefer a white one. And basically, to plate this dish, you're just going to set this apple in here like this, and it's like beautiful, just like that. And then you can take some of the syrup and drizzle it around the side. It's thickening up right now. Nice, but when it cools down, it'll be even thicker, like a, like like real syrupy. And then you can hit it with a little bit of. Uh, whipped mascarpone, some vanilla ice cream, you know, anything you want would be great on this. A little yogurt underneath would be fine. Strained yogurt that you strain overnight and let it get thick uh, would be great underneath this. You want people to see the apples, you know, so that's it. That's our, uh, our, our apples pan roasted in uh, balsamic vinegar and uh, brown sugar with, uh, with a little fresh thyme and crushed red pepper. Thanks for joining Matt and Miguel in our Barcelona food show. We'll be coming to you next from Madrid, then Paris, and then in Rome, Italy, and then probably by August of next year, 2012, we'll be, well, India for sure, but we'll definitely be coming from a farm in uh, Delaware. Very good. good. Adios. 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 Será verdad que en tu sueño no me encontraba.